Let's go, boys. Let's go. Damn right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Night Out channel. In this video, we'll be covering another war from the feed, going for our 16th win in a row. If you saw the intro, that was five minutes left. Five minutes left in the war. I just put our team up by one star. Were we able to hold on? We're gonna find out towards the end here. Now, you guys in the feed have made this video a lot more difficult than I thought. I'm looking at my sheet right now and I wrote down, I usually write down all the bases that I think are good enough to put in the video. I've got 15 numbers right here. 15 numbers I can't commentate over 15 people because that'll be like a 30 40 15 minute video so what we're gonna do I'm gonna pick the best you know the highlights and commentate over those and then the other ones that I thought were good I'm going to have them play after I'm done and they're gonna be sped up so that way hopefully the video isn't too long a lot of great attacks in this war I mean it was an absolute just bloodbath just swinging on both sides absolute great showdown and uh, came to a thrilling end which you guys will see towards the end of the video. Let's go ahead and jump right into these attacks, man. There's a lot to get through, and uh, I don't want to make it longer than I have to. All right, starting off our list, we got Legolas coming in with the attack on the most, like the bottom base, like the last guy on their team. He's there's a max town hall nine here, and look at Legolas. Look at his composition and tell me if you don't see it. He doesn't even have max heroes, not even close. Queen's not even at level five yet. No queen ability, right? The heal spell, not max. Jump spell, nah. Now, he's got two of them, by the way. He's got two of them. Level one jump spells only last for 20 seconds. He's got two of them. No big deal. No power potion needed. He's just going to smash in with the witch slap. Bowler's coming out of CC. You know your normal witch slap. But this replay was crazy. I had to include this one. This is a completely maxed Town Hall 9. And Legolas is coming here with a baby Town Hall 9. And, I mean, smashing it. Making, making Town Hall 9. Making this look easy. It, I was, it was hard to believe. It was hard. I had to include it. Legolas absolutely coming in here with the Witch Slap. If this doesn't show you how strong Witch Slap is, I mean, I don't I don't even know what else to tell you. I, I can't. There's there's no Power Potion in, in, in use here. It's just a basic Witch Slap. The spells aren't even maxed out all the way. Queen doesn't even have an ability. And uh, I, don't, I don't even know what to say here. You guys are watching it with me right now. I was watching it as I was collecting, you know, bases and replays that I wanted to use for this, you know, for the highlight and everything. But... Um, absolutely insane. Had to include it. Witch Slap coming in with a triple against a max Town Hall 9. It is the, you know, the most bottom base, the, the lowest one on the other team. However, I mean, come on, man. It's a max 9. And Legolas got a baby 9 taking it down pretty easily. Also, if you want to, I don't know if you guys noticed, but the team we're going against is uh, the OOL2, Ool2. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, this clan, this the clan name looks so familiar. I could have sworn I saw it somewhere. And uh, someone pointed out to me that we've already gone against this team before. And I've already covered these guys on my channel. If you check out the 27th War win um, from like a few weeks ago, this is the same team that we versed um, back then. Let's see if we were able to pick up another dub against them. But Legolas coming in with the easy triple with a baby Town Hall 9 Witch Slap against a Max 9. Had to include it. Absolutely insane. All right, jumping up to the next Town Hall 9 attack, I had to include this one because you're going to get a brand new Town Hall 10 here, which, you know, is intimidating in itself. We have Ivan coming in with, you know, not, not a very, you know, strong looking offense, at least hero wise, they don't look that strong. And he's coming in with a Gobo Lalo attack strategy, extremely rare to see at Town Hall 9, definitely want to include it. I did skip over a couple other Town Hall 9 attacks from um, Greedy, so if you want to see those, definitely skip towards the end, they will be included towards the end as the sped up version for uh, his attacks but uh, we have Ivan coming in with the Gobo Lalo attack strategy and I mean it's a perfect strategy to use against this base he has the access to two air defenses the Queen enemy CC I mean it's the perfect strategy to use it's still nerve-wracking I would think to go against a brand new Town Hall 10 you get the upgraded heroes you don't have any of the upgraded defenses or anything like that but I would still think it's a little intimidating to get through it but I, I've been making it look easy. This war, I believe this war was won by our lower town halls. A lot of great lower town hall hits in this one. You're going to see a lot towards the end. I couldn't include all of them. Again, I can't talk over every single one because it'll be a long video. It'll be a very long video. So I'm doing my best here to try to manage the time with every great attack that we had. But uh, I've been coming in now with the Lalo portion up at the 12 o'clock corner. Absolutely smashing in. No problem at all. And uh, I mean, he's just going to wipe the base pretty easy here with the Gobo Lalo attack strategy. It's on my channel if you guys need to check it out as well. It's a pretty easy strategy to do. I mean, you just got to focus on taking down your targets, which was the CC 
He got two air defenses, he got the enemy queen, and then he was able to ride through the Lalo portion pretty easily because, you know, those targets were taken out. So, uh, Ivan coming in easy with the three star against this brand new Town Hall 10 at the Town Hall 9 level with the Gobo Lalo attack strategy. A lot of great strategies from the lower Town Halls in this. And again, there's going to be included towards the end of the video. So that way, um, everybody that did well has their time to shine kind of thing. I just can't commentate over everyone. All right, jumping up now to Town Hall 10. This was an interesting one I had to include. This is a Falcon attack coming in from Roy. You don't see a lot of Falcons either. I like to include strategies you don't see very often. Had to include his attack with this um, with this highlight reel. So Roy's going to come in with a Queen Charge from the 9 o'clock side. He's going to push in. And uh, this base actually looks kind of familiar. I'm pretty sure someone attacked the base that looks like very similar to this one with the um, the hybrid attack strategy. Am I? Have I seen this base before? I'm pretty sure someone has attacked a base that looks very, very similar to this. And he did it with a hybrid. I think I've already covered it. Maybe. Because again, we've already played these guys. We've already gone against these people before. So this might be the same base from the 27th War win. I'm not sure. I'll definitely have to check that out. But... Um, queen charge or queen walk coming from the left side. Queen can reach the enemy queen, can reach the multi, got the town hall down. And uh, let's see where he pushes in his falcon. And we got the king on the uh, top side there. He's going to push around the base and just help funnel out siege barracks with this composition. So let's see where he uses that siege barracks in order to probably help funnel out this falcon and get them through the base here. Queen's pushing in now. King's still making his way around. Ability's going to go off now and he's going to push his way down towards that side here comes the siege barracks along with the, the king okay so the siege barracks is going to push along with the king or where the king was going to continue the funnel on the outside so that way i, I believe the falcon can stay in the middle of the base here walberger comes in with that valkyrie trying to push the uh, falcon into the middle of the base there hogs are now being dwindled in and uh, let's see what comes out of that siege barracks i'm very intrigued to see it's probably going to be hogwares that's what i'm assuming i haven't watched the replay all the way through I'm experiencing it for the first time just like you guys. CC is coming out, poison on top of them. And uh, that pack is doing a lot of tanking and it goes down though, so those wizards are now exposed. And there we go, the Max Hogs coming out of the CC. That's going to help out a ton at the Town Hall 10 level. I mean, they're really tanky. The Max the max Hogs at Town Hall 10 are extremely tanky, so that's going to help out a ton. Heal comes down to protect them. And now the Falcon portion is pushing in towards the base. And uh, it's wrapping up pretty nicely, looking really well, re looking really good here for Roy as he pushes in with his falcon attack strategy but yeah i like to include a lot of strategies you don't see especially at the lower town halls because it gives an option of variety for perhaps those town halls that are watching this video and you know want to use a different strategy or see how different things work against different bases and stuff like that maybe you pick up something just from watching it but uh, roy making it look easy there swagging that freeze and pretty much that queen ability as well as he absolutely destroys the base with the falcon attack strategy all right, next up we got Medusa coming in here with a Pekka Bobat attack strategy at the Town Hall 10 level. I had to include it again because it's another strategy you don't see very often um, at Town Hall 10, especially with these guys. They love their Queen Charge Hogs, which in fact, I did skip over a couple of Queen Charge Hog um, attack replays. One from Bill T. Baggins and another from Dusa again. He got a six pack with his Town Hall 10. And those will be included at the end of the video if you want to see those as well. Sped up, of course, and uh, not commentated over, but I still want to include them because they were you know good attacks against some pretty tough bases so we have medusa coming in here from the 12 and three o'clock corners he's like smashing in between both of those in order to push his pekka bobat into or at least the pekkas and the bowlers along with the heroes here come the healers down and they're going to start pushing their way into the base here and uh, let's see how this forms let's see how this this goes from so he's going for the multi he got all the oh wow look at that one two three where's the fourth one he might have already taken down the fourth wizard tower but look at all that splash damage he accomplished taking down with the kill squad no wonder why he chose pekka bobat because it's all gone now it's all gone here come the bats on the left side and they're going to wave their way through the base here we have no splash damage left i believe just uh backside ground expo that's going to hurt that guy as the bats are going to come in and do tons of damage get tons of value what a great base identification from dusa here noticing that all the you know the splash damage was right next to each other it was easy to take down and he could take advantage of taking down this base using the pekka bobat by using his kill squad to take down all the splash damage and then using his bass to come on the backside and provide value along with his attack but you don't see pekka bobat very often that's why i want to include it in case anybody out there needs a different strategy or wants to try something new again i'm covering some of the more rare attacks that i've seen um, from these guys the other attacks and the other good hits and stuff like that are going to be towards the end of the video again but when Dusa coming here making it look easy with a pekka bobat at town hall 10. 
All right, jumping all the way up to Town Hall 13, we did skip over a few um, good attacks that I'm going to include towards the end. We skipped over Colin, LT, and I believe Ivan's other attack at Town Hall 11. They're all towards the end. If you want to check them out, there were some pretty tough bases they had to get through, and they did they did it pretty well, so I wanted to include that as well. But we have Smokey coming in here with a Queen Charge Hog attack from the bottom, 6 o'clock corner, towards that Eagle, along with the World Champion. We have, uh, if he breaks into that compartment, wow, he can get the, can get the enemy Queen, he can get... Uh, the enemy king as well. Where's the CC? Yeah, CC's on the top there. Let's see what he does here about that clan castle because he'll take out, you know, a majority of the, you know, threats for the queen charge hog, but still that CC will be a danger or a threat to his, um, to his queen charge. Let's see what happens here. So his wall worker breaks a little earlier than I think he wanted it to. We have Yeti's coming out and uh, they're engaging the enemy queen now. Ice Cologne, king on the left side, doing a great job funneling and uh, they're going to pound through that wall and get through... Are they going to get to the wall? Hopefully they get to the wall. They're having a little trouble there. Healers are now on the Yeti. Can they get through that wall, though? Queen's down gauge with the King. She's going to try to... Oh, they get it. Okay, cool. They got through it. And uh, looks a little looked a little bad there for a second as the Queen was stuck behind that wall for a second. Healers are now in range of the multi. A couple Rangers are coming down as she's pushing in towards the Town Hall and the Multis themselves. Multi goes down. And uh, he's not worried about the clan castle. Oh my god, okay, all right, here comes the hogs on the left side. Town hall goes down, and that queen's setting up a nice, you know, path for the hogs so they can bounce to each defense pretty easily without having to worry about being split up. But, um, oh, okay, so that's probably why he wasn't as afraid. There's a um, bunch of witches coming out. So as long as the poison's on top of the witches, the witches should go down pretty easily as long as they stay in the ring of the poison. And they all died out. Okay, cool. So I guess that was his plan. I guess, hey. <laughs> take that risk if you can if you um you might have been scouted before so you might have already known that but if it was like a hound or perhaps ice golems or a dragon or something that could have been bad for his hog riders if he just let them you know go off by themselves he does have the royal champion there as well so it's hard to say if that would have been a deterrent or not but um the hogs actually shredded through the poison took him down pretty easily and uh, the base is absolutely destroyed even though there's not many hogs left this base was absolutely destroyed i mean absolutely crushed here by smoky Making it look easy with the Queen Charge Hog Attack. Again, um, these guys love their Queen Charge Hog Attacks, and you can see why. They're absolutely destructive at it. I mean, they take down bases easy with the Queen Charge Hog Attack. So, uh, another three-star coming in from Smokey. All right, what you've been waiting for? My attack on number 12 here. So, at this point in the war, it was tied up 108 to 108, and I uh, was going for that extra star. At this point in time, I believe we already had it kind of won, even if we didn't, um, you know, get that star that we needed. I think we had the percentage, but... Um, it's always nice to have that extra star to um, ensure the win here. But we'll see what happens towards the end of the war or towards the end of the video. You'll see what the results were for this war. Again, we already fought these guys once. They were a tough opponent. And uh, again, that last five minutes, we were able to get that extra star. But was it enough to pull out the win? We're going to find out here. But we have the queen coming in. I noticed that the town hall was kind of easily charged. I did not recognize the air defense was in range of the healers, though. So that did catch me off guard a little bit. Siege breaks on the left side along with the king. And I just figured as long as I can get the Town Hall and fall on the left side, you know, I'll be golden with the hybrid. The hybrid will be able to push through the base pretty easily. I have the Hogs coming out of the Siege Breaks to take care of this scatter shot and, like, this side of defenses. And then I'll have the Miners and the Hogs push through the base and, you know, kind of hope for the best. That's kind of what I was going for. I have the Rage coming down along with the Warden ability, pushing through the first scatter shot along with the Expo. We have the uh, Hogs and the Reserves coming out now. Queen's still pushing her way through. She is she's feeling that. She's going towards that Tesla farm. She might go down. And then we have everything in the middle pushing through nicely this was the thing that broke the tie this was that's why everybody was hype i was hype when i did it because um you know you hope for the best and you prepare for the worst i was just you know for me it was just about getting percentage at that point i mean i obviously wanted the three star everybody always wants a three star but um i think the base was like maybe a 60 65 maybe like a 70 percent and uh, i always look for bases in war that are lower percentage so even if i don't get the triple at least i increase percentage for us to get that win so if we do tie and it ends up being about percentage you know hopefully i help push that a little bit higher so that way we get that w but as you can see here i come in with the triple with the queen charge hybrid attack and um that's why everybody was so high because it was five minutes left in the war got that one extra star but wasn't enough we'll find out here in just a minute all right, second to the last replay we got here and then we have one more after this and then we will see the results of what happened with this clan is the second time we versed them in war again i've already covered them on my channel they were the 27th war win while we while we had that big one before we lost it at 30 and uh, it's already on my channel so we beat them once and uh, let's see if we can repeat that success and beat them again they were a pretty tough opponent i mean it was very close to the end so stick around to see 
how we did. We have Boss coming in with his famous Yeti Bowler tag. Boss loves the Yetis, and uh, he's pretty good at it. Let's see how he takes down this base with his Yeti attack here. Only four quakes on this one, so he doesn't have any jumps or anything. So I'm assuming he's going to beat on a wall and then break everything open, or is he going to break everything open and then have them beat through walls? I'm, gonna, I'm very interested to see how he does this. So we have the Yetis coming down. We have a Yeti on the top to funnel, and then the Warden did his job on the right side. And I'm assuming they're going to let him, or he's going to let them, yep, yeah, rage them through. Oh, he had wall breakers. Did they get through? I don't think they got through. Wall breakers? Oh, there they go. Okay, he had an extra set of wall breakers. They're going to get through, punch through the base, hit the second layer of walls. Town Hall is not activated, and he's going to push his way through the base and absolutely take down that Town Hall. All right, so that's what he decided to do. I didn't see the wall breakers, to be honest. And uh, he's pushing in now. He's got that quake coming down. Everything is opened up. Oh, they're going to have to beat through walls again because I don't, know, I don't think he got... No, he didn't get that opening, so the Yetis and everything is going to have to beat through walls in order to get through the next part of the base. But once they get through there, I mean, everything's pretty much open at that point. Queen can reach pretty much everything, except for maybe like that um, cannon in the, in the top 12 clock corner. But everything is pretty much exposed now. Uh-oh, Yetis are going towards the outside of the base, though. King went to the middle, but the Yetis are thinking they want to go to the outside. This is why I don't like Yetis, man. Yetis are weird. They're kind of like E-Drags. Valkyries are kind of like, you know... That's, that's kind of who I lumped them in with those people because <laughs> my luck with the Yetis is always terrible, man. But, um, okay, his luck changed around a little bit there as the Yetis do decide to redirect into the middle, taking down that eagle and making it easier to get that triple that he needs in order to help us, you know, push either towards victory or making it close in a defeat. But uh, Hawks coming out of the Siege Barracks from the bottom side and uh, the World Champion is following along with them. We still have a heal spell left in reserve, so that's pretty cool there. And uh, let's see how he does this to ensure that triple queen is now being locked on by the multi and then here comes that heal we still have royal champion ability two archer towers a multi we got the bomb tower to deal with and the world champion taking a lot of damage here is she gonna oh no no he hasn't popped it yet there goes the royal champion ability and the remaining defenses go down this is going to be an easy triple for boss as he comes in with the yeti i mean i don't know i, I want to say easy but it came down to a little bit of luck here for boss and that's one reason why I don't like to use the Yetis, man, because they're just, I mean, if they would have went straight towards what he was, you know, what he was thinking about taking down in you know, the Eagle side, and right in the middle with the Eagle and, you know, the towers and everything right there, I think it would have been a more overwhelming attack, but the Yetis decided to beat on a wall for a little bit, and then they decided to go back to the Eagle kind of thing. So it's a little dangerous for me. I don't like using the Yetis for that reason, because they're just, even if you do open up the entire base for them, they'll still want to go through a wall. But Boss here coming in with the triple with his Yeti Bowler attack. All right, last but not least, we got Smokey coming in with a Queen Charge Lalo against a pretty popular base. It's uh, flipped, so usually the Town Hall's on the opposite side and the Eagle are like switched up, but a pretty popular base. It can be taken down with Queen Charge Hybrid. It can be taken down with Queen Charge Hogs. It's not a very difficult base to take down. Here comes the Queen on the nine o'clock side. She's gonna charge right towards that Town Hall, take it down and uh, assist, get the value that she needs in order to get the three star against the base here. This is Smokey's second attack against the base because the first time, uh, the queen, she like bounced out to the wrong way or something and she ended up dying and the CC actually survived and it ruined the Lalo portion really badly. So queen's coming in, she takes on the enemy queen, had to pop the ability unfortunately underneath that rage spell. She now engages the town hall. We have the expos on top of her, Teslas, and uh, oh that town hall is now in range of the healers. So the healers were getting melted so we had to freeze them real quick and the town hall goes down. Alright so town hall is down, now you just need to get the CC out the way and the queen will have done her job in order to set up the Lalo portion. So um, this was actually the last attack for the ward, like the very last second. And uh, this is gonna decide, or it did decide if we got the W to get 16 wins in a row, or if they, cause they were also attacking us as well, if they got enough in order to beat us and uh, take away our streak and get the revenge from beating them a couple weeks ago. But the King's coming down now and uh, the Queen is now engaged with the King. I believe she's gonna go down, but she got the CC, she got the Town Hall, she got the enemy queen, she got lots of value, and uh, here comes Alalo now on the bottom side, along with the stone slammer and a bunch of loons, and I believe the warden's going to be placed, and everything's going to push in nicely for the Lalo portion, and Smokey just makes it look really easy with the Lalo. I, I always struggle with the Lalo, I can never get it to work properly. Um, I can see it be done, I'm like, you know what, that makes sense, I could do that, then I try it, and it's just absolutely terrible, but Smokey making it look easy coming with the Lalo, warden ability gets popped off. And lots of loons left over here, pushing into that last multi. When I was watching it live, it didn't seem like it was going to work because, I mean, there's a lot of loons. There's a lot of loons left, but um, that multi is raining down upon them. We have the Royal Champion ability still intact here, um, but there is a possibility that all of them could go down. We have red mimes popping up all over the place, and it ended up being enough to take down the base 
and get the three star. But the question, the big question, was it enough to secure the win and get us our 16th win in a row against a team that we already faced before? I'm gonna go ahead and four times it here. We're gonna find out at the end here. Again, there's gonna be like six or seven more replays after this one ends. Just sped up a little bit. There were attacks I wanted to include. I just wanted, I just didn't want to commentate over them because it would make the video too long. But let's go ahead and take a look at the results for this war and see how we did. And there you have it, guys. A 110 over 108 victory against Ool once again. We beat them barely by two stars. It was a pretty tough war. It's a pretty tough war. Um, we had a hard time with some of their bases. They were, you know, taking down some of ours and. Um, it was a pretty back and forth war for the most part, but we ended up with a victory with our 16th win in a row, and uh, it was a lot of fun. But but that's going to wrap it up here, guys. I'm going to have those um, extra replays play after I'm done, and then that'll be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. We're going to be pushing towards 20, 25 soon, and then back up to 30 again. But that's all I have for the video, guys. If you got any questions, again, let me know, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.
go Invincible. Yeah.